Hello and welcome on Thomas Geiger car, today with the Maserati MC20, a car that is totally unusual for these days because it has a petrol engine and it's not an SUV but a pure mid-engine sports car, competing against the McLarens, the Porsches, the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis in the price range of 200,000 and beyond. If you want to know what's behind that beautiful shape, how this car drives, and what to expect from it when it comes to the market later that summer, join me on my test drive and I'll tell you more about it. For the first time in more than two decades, Maserati has developed a new and own engine. After using the Ferrari engines for quite a long time, now we have Nettuno, three liters V6 twin turbo engine mounted right behind the seats. With lots of technology from Formula One, it delivers 635 horsepower, enough to compete with the McLarens, Aston Martins, Ferraris and Lamborghinis. There are two souls united in the MC20. On the one hand, it is a pure race car made for the track, very precise, very stiff, very agile, very aggressive. And on the other side, it is a typical Italian Gran Turismo, perfectly built for country roads like these, with surprisingly much comfort for the chassis and for the suspension, and with a lot of comfort in the interior. Even if it's looking pretty pure, there's all you need for the long journey. Air condition, heated seats, electric seat positioning, all done via the touchscreen and some hidden buttons around. So nothing that stops you from enjoying the drive. Talking about the drive, as I said, V6 twin turbo engine, 630 horsepower, more than 700 newton meters, available from a little less above 2000 revs, means once you hit the pedal, you got the full power, pushing the car forward in less than three seconds from zero to 100, overtaking is just, and top speed is around 330 kilometers per hour. You can kick quite some Porsche asses with this vehicle, but it is not brutal, it is not porn, it is not a provoker. It is pretty elegant with lots of style and grandezza like you expected from a bella macchina out of Italy. I'm really happy that there is a company investing again in a petrol engine while the big manufacturers pulled the plug and finalized the end of the combustion engine, Maserati has taken out lots of money from its vault and built it a brand new engine from the scratch. For sure, this would not only power the Maserati MC20, that investment would have been a bit too high. No, this engine will be the heart of every future Maserati model, alongside with an electrified powertrain as well. Talking about the future of Maserati, this looks brighter than ever because there is a full pipeline of new products ahead. It will start with a small SUV called Grecale that will compete with Porsche Macan or BMW X4 from this year on. Towards the end of the year we will see the new Gran Turismo followed by a new Gran Caprio also powered by the Grecale engine. And then we will see the MC20 Spider, the MC20 full electric and later on a new Quattroporte and stuff. So after a long time of suffering, Maserati is back in the race and I can't wait to drive all the new models. Thanks for joining me on that first test drive with the Maserati MC20, a car that I'm really grateful for. After all these SUVs and the electric vehicles, I'm happy that there is a purpose-built sports car again, a car only built to have fun on the road, to have fun on the racetrack, to feel the pleasure of driving. And before people complain, the effort on the climate change is pretty limited due to the limited production volume and the pretty high price of 210,000 euros and above. And most of all, there is an electric version coming, so nothing to worry about and just to enjoy.